Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Host Client Virtual Machines, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So again, because this is part of the Host Client series, we're going to log in directly through the Host Client, not through vCenter Server directly itself. And this time we're going to focus more on virtual machines. So we're going to click virtual machines on the left hand side and it gives us a list of the virtual machines currently running from this machine. So at the moment I've only got two virtual machines, a folding at home appliance and a vCenter server. So one of the first things I can do is either create a new virtual machine. If I want to do that, um, I specify a name for the virtual machine. I pick a level of compatibility and OS family and OS version. Then I start to think, pick things like which particular set of storage I'm going to run on. I'm not going to build a virtual machine now, I'm just going to walk you through these options. The next thing is to deploy from an OVF or OVA file. So open virtualization format or open virtualization archive. Again, I would uh, browse to a prepackaged solution here. Or I can register an existing virtual machine. So this is where I would browse for a VMX file for an existing virtual machine that I already had. But they're how we put new uh, virtual machines on the platform. We either create them or register them or import them. Here's where we click on the console. So this is the console for the folding at home machine. I can shut down, suspend, refresh, and I can do other kinds of actions. Lots of times these actions are duplicates of things across the top of the screen or by right clicking on the thing directly. So you see if I right click on there, it's a similar interface or similar group of settings. And you'll see the console window in a web browser and console through the VMRC application. If I click on permissions here, you'll see that I can add an individual user and give them permissions to this VM. Um, I'm currently logged in as root or admin, so I don't need to add any permissions, that's a given. But if I wanted to add specific ones, I could do it through here. But I'll click on that and I open through the web based console. You can see that this is an, uh, an Ubuntu virtual machine running um, Rosetta at home, which is another kind of folding thing. I'm currently running some simulations on here to try and help find a vaccine or a cure for COVID 19. And you can see it's running through a, a whole number of processes doing protein folding research. If we go back to the simple view. You can see there that it's folding. Now what I've done on this virtual machine is I've passed through um, an actual hardware video card. So you'll see from here, this has actually got the Quadro K2000 running connect as if it's connected physically inside the virtual machine. And the NVIDIA SMI tool shows you what driver version I'm using and what CUDA version I'm using. So I'm using a physical card inside that host to, to work natively inside a virtual machine. And if I do an LSPCI to look for a Quadro machine, maybe if I just spell that properly, you can see there that um, if I list the PCI devices in this virtual machine, we have the Quadro there at the bottom, the Quadro K2000. So I'm passing that graphics card through and using the Linux driver, the NVIDIA driver, so that that machine has got hardware acceleration. And if I edit the settings for that virtual machine, I'll show you how I've done that. So this machine has been given 11 vCPUs. Uh, so one CPU with 11 um, cores. And you'll see um, here we got a memory allocation. And we've got MMU virtualization it's a good idea to have that set for physical pass-through and the memory reservation has to be done for physical path through pass through so if you pass through a pci device recommended to pass through all the memory and do some kind of mmu virtualization and if i scroll down here so i've folded this away you'll see that that pci device here it's a little bit hard to read on screen but that pci device here 
shows you that I've used that quadro that we passed through before when we were um, monitoring and managing the horse. We picked certain devices which could be passed through to virtual machines and this one has got direct access to that card. So I'll show you again here. Um, that's the Quadro K2000 that PCI pass through is giving directly to that virtual machine. So on the right hand side a bit more of a summary about it. You can see it's connected to standard switch 0 on VLAN 000, the default. And you can see that Quadro K2000 listed there as PCI, PCIe, PCIe device 0. But now have a look at a different virtual machine, this is my vCenter server. And you can see there's similar kind of information regarding CPU, RAM and individual disks. So that was host client virtual machines as part of the vSphere 7 home lab series. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.